All right, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about these uh, trailer lights. Now, um, this is on a commercial truck, runs a seven pin connector like this, or the white one is at the top. Um, now, the concern that I had with this was that uh, we got this new tank installed on the truck, but it runs this trailer plug. So it does have um, the option with the truck for auxiliary trailer output where there's a connector and uh, it's mounted to the frame with seven pins that wires up to one of these for a trailer, if you were to tow a trailer. But um, they, we don't do that. We don't tow any trailers, so we just use that plug to feed power to this tank unit. Now, the issue was, the way they had it wired up, um, I could only get turn signals and tail lights. So these are LEDs and they have uh, two inputs and a ground. So with the tail lights, um, they are a lower voltage, or I guess there's a resistor in line, so it's a lower brightness. And then with the turn signals though, it's full brightness. So I was trying to figure out how I could wire up brake lights to this thing. And uh, one thing that I could do, basically the way they have it wired up, there's, um, your turn signal wire comes up and then it just splits off to both lights. And uh, I thought like, okay, well, here's what's gonna happen if we, uh, we could just do one turn signal and one brake light and that would be fine. So this one just is dedicated for turning and this one is just dedicated for brakes. But I wanted them both to be able to um, work as brakes and then when you go to slow down and turn left you could uh, turn the signal on and you know the brakes would be working the light would be working on that side for brakes but this one would be flashing and uh, the only way you could really do it with the three wire connector um, the first thing I thought of was just put the brake wire and the turn signal wire together but that doesn't work because when you're slowing down and you have your turn signal on, um, if your foot's not on the brake, it's flashing like it's supposed to. But as soon as you hit your foot on the brake, it no longer flashes because you're constantly feeding voltage to those lights and they don't flash. So that's an issue. Now, uh, there is a, a converter box that you can buy from Kurt that takes three inputs uh, it's a stop signal and your turn signals, and it outputs um, a ground, and then it gives you stop turn. So that just allows you to do exactly that. When you're slowing down and your foot's on the brake, the turn signals still work, and the brake light would still work on the other side, and vice versa. So, and how they do that is they use relays inside of a box. Very simple, really. And uh, I just tried to draw it out here for you. I drew it out here. <clears throat> so here's your turn signal wire and your brake signal wire. So this is a five pin relay and uh, it doesn't matter if it's normally open or normally closed. Uh, it just depends on where you have your wire. So um, let's just say this is a normally open relay. So this pole Normally, if it was normally closed, it would go to pin 87, but it's normally open, so it goes to pin 87A. Um, when you slow down and you apply the brakes, a signal would travel through here and eliminate your brake light. Now, when you're slowing down and you're turning left, um, what would happen is the signal would be on and off, right? To turn the lights on and off as it signals and it would go through this coil. So every time power would be applied to flash the light, it would energize this coil and pull this switch over inside the relay, which would then disconnect power on the brake side of the circuit, which would allow your lights to flash and will work normally. So there you got the best of both worlds. You can turn while you're slowing down and you could still have brake lights um, when you're not signaling. So 
that's how they do it. Now, uh, it's very simple, but um, there's one issue, and that is that uh, LED lights don't use a lot of power, and that causes a weird symptom to happen with the relay. And uh, what happens is it basically the initial uh, jolt of power causes the switch to close, which is fine, but then it can't stay closed and it opens back up and then it closes and it does that super fast. So it almost sounds like the relay's buzzing and that's because it's opening and closing like 30 times a second. And uh, you basically burn out the relay uh, eventually, but um, it works. So the fix I believe um, would be probably to use a transistor. So that's something that I'm interested in trying down the road and might make a follow-up video if that works out great. I couldn't find any uh, modules or converter boxes or anything like that for LED lights for this issue. And a lot of reviews on the Kurt box, um, their converter box was that exact problem. The relay would buzz, weird stuff would happen, the lights would cut out, and uh, so it's really not designed for LED lights, it's more designed for traditional um, bulbs. So uh, I just thought I would share with you uh, that piece of information because I couldn't find any videos on it. And that's for basically trailer lights is when you're gonna run into this issue. Most light car and truck passenger vehicles, the body control module will integrate that brakes brake and uh, turn signal into one and uh, it's just one wire so why they didn't do that with the trucking industry uh, I have no idea this doesn't make sense to me um, but whatever one other thing that I wanted to tell you is that uh, the seven pin wire harness that runs to the back of the truck that feeds actually maybe we'll make a second video on that okay um, well if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments below. We'd be glad to answer those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, check out the channel for more content. Hit that subscribe button.